What's up everyone, this is All I Talk Is Tech, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the iPod Nano 5th Generation Secret Menu. Now, what's really unique about this is this secret menu is very different than the secret menu that you can find on a modern day iPhone. Now, this can be accessed by typing in a special code on the keypad to dial a number on the iPhone, and this is mainly just carrier settings. If you would like to try and access this menu yourself, I will be leaving the number that you can type into your iPhone in the description below, and you can go ahead and access what is called the field test. So this is the secret menu for the iPhone. Now this is very different from the secret menu that you can access through an iPod or like an iPod Nano. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be reviewing different iPod Nanos or iPod Classics and accessing the secret menus. Now some secret menus are different than others, on different versions of certain iPods, depending on what you have. Now, real quick, I would just like to mention why I'm gonna be talking about iPods much more on this channel, and not really iPhones as much in iOS updates, and this is actually very cool. So, if you didn't see my last video, I wanna mention that if you take a look at an iPhone, they're kinda of bland and boring in the sense that when you compare the first iPhone to the latest iPhone, they both have the camera in the same spot. They both have a similar design. Speakers in the same place, you know, the charging port is in the same place, and yes, there's upgrades here and there. They get thinner and lighter over time, they get faster. But when you take a look at an older iPod, there's just so much more change with each version. So when you compare the first generation iPod to the second, it changes drastically. And when you compare the second to the fifth generation, it's like a whole new universe. And then when you compare the sixth generation, like the point I'm trying to make is every generation of iPod, Apple is much more willing to be that more creative because they have the ability to do that. Whereas with iPhones, there are so many more users. So at the time, Apple was willing to experiment with new designs, new shapes, new features and things like that. Whereas the iPhone, they had to get it right. So in terms of history, this left Apple with the iPod as a device that they could experiment more with than the iPhone. So getting started with the actual video, let's take a look at the fifth generation iPod Nano secret hidden menu. So in terms of features, this iPod was probably the most loaded with features. It had a camera, you could play games, and of course you could play music. And there were so many other awesome applications on this iPod that you could use, but Something wasn't really talked about during its time, and that was the secret diagnostics menu, sort of like what I showed in the beginning of this video. So by holding down the home button and the menu button at the same time, while also pressing the back button, you can access the secret menu, and it gives you a whole menu of options. So this is just a diagnostic screen, and so you can go ahead and check so many cool features. So this is a mode that can literally destroy your iPod's battery and it's just called high power mode and all it does is it puts your screen at full brightness and just drains your battery and waits for it to die. You can check you know what type of current your iPod is putting out. Now because this is the only iPod with a working speaker and microphone this is also the only iPod with a diagnostics menu for that so you can go ahead and test and see if your iPod can record or if it can test its speaker so that could be accessed through this menu as well. Now this next feature unfortunately was not working for me, but there is an LCD backlight pattern tester and this basically tests to make sure all the pixels work and for whatever reason that was not working on this iPod. However, in order to change the brightness of this secret menu, you can go ahead and change it by testing the backlight of the iPod itself. Very interesting. So if your click wheel was broken and you brought it to Apple, they most likely would check to see this part of the secret menu, and this would make sure different parts of the touch sensitivity were working on the scroll wheel. So as you scrolled, different parts would be activated and the iPod would know if it's working in certain areas. You can go ahead and press the menu button, play button, pause button, and then skip button, and it'll make sure those buttons work as well with the indication of the number one next to it saying if you clicked it or not. So. Overall, that's just the secret menu of this iPod. Thank you so much for watching. I got way cooler videos coming your way soon, and as always, peace.